what's up everybody so check this out got me a nice little fat stack of some what 1955 bowman tvs man these are so cool and this is gonna be my starter set so let's take a look of what we got all right you guys all ready for the 1955 bowman's tvs in color sweet man i love this set i love these cards and um these cards are well ahead of their time i love it because picture this guys the majority of the homes that had tvs they had black and white tvs okay imagine opening a pack of baseball cards and seeing these in color wow you'd be like oh you smokes what is that yeah 1955 bowman's color tv i believe color tv didn't come to existence until like 54 maybe 53 early mid 50s so yeah the majority of the homes only had black and white tvs man so yeah th these cards are well ahead of their time you can see the stadiums in the back people warming up you got gordon right there volmer right there sarni right there and check this card out dude imagine being a catcher in the 50s okay equipment wasn't all that great compared to what it is today this fellow is wearing glasses so yeah, imagine getting a foul ball hit in the face, wearing a mask, and your glasses. Yeah, that didn't hurt, right? <laughs> Pretty cool, man. Check out the back. Sweet, you can see the uh, stadiums in the back. Here, here you got Clark with his funny face uh, pose right there. You got green grass right there. Kellner. A nice little starter set. I got me a really good deal on these. Look at that. Warming up right before the game. Sweet. Got me a really good deal on these. I literally paid two dollars a pop, combined shipping. So I believe there's like 34 or 35 of these in this little short stack, fat stack, and uh, this is considered my little starter set. And uh, like I mentioned before, I'm gonna be buying these cards one card at a time. Anything pre 57, pr practically one card at a time because it's cheaper to buy it singles than it is to buy them in the lots. And that's something that I found out a long time ago. So, moving along, you got Pope right there, Gromek right there. Damn, look at that action catcher shot right there. Sweet. I love these old catcher picture cards, man, because you can just see the old catcher's equipment, and man, it's not like what it is today at all. Not even close. And then if you're wearing glasses, you know, it's even tougher. McDermott right there. You got Busby right there. The Shantz Brothers, one of the Shantz Brothers. Yeah, cat. Look at his face. Ugh. <laughs> Man, gotta love vintage commons. Vintage El Benchos. Sweet. So, I'm gonna take these out of the uh, little card savers. And then, I'm gonna show you what the binder looks like real quick. And, you know, I'm not gonna throw them into the binders because this is my starter set. Maybe my next little fat stack, then we can start doing a little replay of those. But check this out. $2 a pop. Some really good condition on all these. These are VG, X, X minus, whatever you want to call them. $2 a pop. Free shipping or combined shipping. Damn, I'll take that any day. So, let me take these out. Let's put them in the binders. Be right back. Alright guys, so this is what my binder looks like so far. Y'all ready? Ooh, yeah, that. Check this out. Sweet. How fun. In total, I have about 43 cards, and the whole set is about 320 cards. So that gives me roughly around 13% of the set being complete. So obviously, I don't have any of the high numbers yet. A lot of these are the umpire cards. No big deal. I'll get them later on. But check this out. Slowly but surely, the 1955 Bowman TV colors. It's how fun. Can't wait till the next short stack, bat stack, and uh, can't wait till this binder slowly starts filling up. It's one inch at a time. I mean, one card at a time. <laughs> Y'all get the point. So, that's nice little short stack, fat stack of some Bowman 55s. I'll see you guys on the next one. Toodles.